Hi everyone and welcome to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. In today's Timeless Pick a Stack reading, we're looking at what your person wishes they could say to you, but they can't or they haven't or they won't or they refuse to for whatever reason, but these messages from their heart might give you deeper insight into your relationship with them, whether you're currently seeing them, whether you're apart, whether you're separated, or however your situation is at the moment. This is a general reading for the collective, so it may not resonate with everyone. So just take in what does resonate with you and release the rest to the universe. And if you find the stack you select doesn't resonate at all, we do encourage you to pick a different one. Thank you also very much for your comments and support and allowing us to be part of your journey. And if you're interested in looking at your personal journey, there is a link in the description below and pinned to the top comment on how to get private readings with us. For today's Pick a Stack reading, you may choose from, I'm using the four messenger cards from the Good Tarot, but they do correspond to the Knights in the Rider Waite deck, okay? So for stack one, we have Messenger of Air or Knight of Swords, Messenger of Swords, if you'd like to choose on air signs for either you or your person, that would be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And that comes with the Appetite Crystal. For stack two, it's Messenger of Earth or the Knight of Pentacles, which would be the signs of Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And that comes with the tiger's eye. For stack three, it is messenger of water, which is the knight of cups. And so the water signs are Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And that comes with the labradorite. And stack four is messenger of fire, or the Knight of Wands. And the fire signs are Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and that comes with the Carnelian. You may wish to pick based on their astrology sign, or yours, or you can select based on the image on the card, or the crystal, or any combination but choose the one that resonates the most for you. Try not to overthink it. Go with your first impression because that is your intuition guiding you. The timestamps for each combination are below in the description and pinned to the top comment. So take a moment to relax and let's begin your journey today. I will see you in your readings. Welcome to your reading stack one. You selected the Messenger of Air card and the Appetite Crystal. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it or all the messages will resonate with everyone listening or watching today. So please just take in what speaks to your soul and release the rest to the universe. And if you find that it doesn't resonate with you or your situation at all, we do encourage you to select a different stack. So today we're looking at what your person wishes they could say to you, but they can't or they haven't. Hopefully we'll also uncover some of those reasons as well. But what we'd like to do on the first row is look at the current energy between the two of you, their feelings, their thoughts, and then on the second row we will look at what they would like to say to you. So let's get right into your reading stack. Stack one, let's get right into your reading current thoughts, current feelings, for stack one, and their connection. Let's see what we get here for stack one. Do we have the four of cups? Let's see. And the chariot. And we have the Hierophant. So 
so we have Cancer energy here, Taurus energy here. So Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus in Cancer, or Taurus for you or your person, if you haven't selected based on the Messenger of Air card. We also have Strength. And then on the bottom, we have the Emperor. And what comes right after it is the Hermit. So that really completes this story here. It's interesting. So stack one, it appears that for some of you, I feel your person is in a state or in a place where there's no communication, no contact. I do feel for some of you they have moved on or they have moved away for the moment, okay? But I feel like they're doing that because they are shut down emotionally. Very much so with this Emperor card and this Hermit being here. And that has to do though, because there is a strong connection. Look at all this major arcana. Wow. The Chariot, the Hierophant, Strength, the Emperor, the Hermit. So again, we might have everybody here. Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Virgo. So Sun, Moon, Rising, for you or your person, or Venus in one of those signs, this could be a point of validation for you if you didn't select based on this air sign. Okay, so I do feel for some of you, your person was really on board with wanting to move this relationship further, wanting to see where this relationship, where this relationship could go in terms of having a traditional relationship. And that's what this Hierophant tells us. And I feel that they are aware that there is this great strength in your connection, that this connection does go beyond the physical. We have just physical attraction. We have this infinity symbol here with this strength card. And that tells us that your person is aware that your connection is mental, it's spiritual, it's emotion as well as physical. But this emperor card is someone who, this emperor energy is someone who just comes and whoom, drops the wall down in front of their heart and that wall is like 15 foot thick stone because they are afraid of their feelings, they're afraid to express themselves and that comes very much back to this messenger of air card because this, this card tells us that your person is reacting to situations from their past and they really have to think about whether they want to do things the old way or respond differently. This is very much someone who lives in their head more than their heart. And they would say, I think rather than I feel. But let's see what the rest of the cards get before so that we can really understand what's going on in this dynamic between the two of you. Now the hermit is someone who can be going through a self-imposed isolation. So they could have turned their back on you and that as well comes with this Four of Cups. They could be saying that they are turning their back on this connection for the time being because they're trying to figure out who they are. They're trying to figure out if they can actually allow themselves to continue on with this relationship. So I feel for some of you, it's like they, they may have said, yes, they want to have this traditional relationship with you. But then as it was starting to become a reality, they could have bailed on that because the reality of that actually manifesting with this strong connection that's here between the two of you, that scared, that scared them. And that is a really horrible, crappy thing to do because that will take you, you, the person that selected this tag, that will take you from like this place of complete and total elation and then drop you to the steps of despair because they have let you believe that they're ready to move this forward and then, oh my God, I can't do this. And then they could ghost you, run, break up, disappear, 
whatever it is. So I do feel that that's a very difficult dynamic for some of you to go have gone through if you're going through that spec one. So now we'll look at what your person wants to say, what they wish they could say to you. What does stack one person want to say? Let's see for stack one. We have the nine of wands. Now this tells us that they've backed off. Okay, then we'll put it here. They have backed off. Very much like this four of cups. They've backed off because they have to look at things. They have to evaluate what's going on in the dynamic between the two of you. The connection was too overwhelming for them. That tower tells us it was, I feel like it really brought up some past experience that they had in the past, in a past relationship. Not you, probably not you. I do feel like this is something from the past because they're, they're looking back to the past. And I feel like this has created some fear around them. So what they're doing is they're letting things just sit for the moment. This Seven of Pentacles tells us. We're just letting things sit. We're not doing anything. Seeds are planted. We're going to see if they're going to sprout and grow from your person so they can actually do something with your connection. We also have Justice. Now, Justice is about fairness and balance and equanimity but it's also about karma so there is a reason that you and this person have met okay and we do have a reading a pick a stack reading on reasons for your connection i'll put that in the link in the description and pinned to the top comment because this tells us that your story isn't finished. There's still more to come. There's still more that has to unfold between the two of you. And there is a reason that you're in one another's lives. Okay. And then on the bottom, we have judgment that I'm covering up as fast as I can with stickies. We have judgment and then the Ace of Cups. So this does tell us that there is more to your story as the Justice card does say as well. This tells us that there is this opportunity for regeneration, resurrection, return, something coming back from the past, that there is going to be renewal between you and your person, okay? And this Ace of Cups here, they want to tell you, they are telling you that they would like to have an opportunity to start again if you are currently separated or if they're currently running or if there's no contact or communication between the two of you. And if you are currently together, dating or in a relationship, this is saying that things between the two of you are going to improve. Your relationship is going to a new level. Your relationship will take on new meaning and new form as your person is able to start expressing and revealing their emotions and their feelings to you. So now let's get some messages directly from your person. What does stack one want to say? I've been lying to myself for so long. Mm -hmm. See, I've been lying to myself for so long, trying to deny their feelings, trying to run from them, trying to flee from them. We wanted different things. And perhaps you did, perhaps you didn't, perhaps for some of you, you wanted different things. But with that Hierophant being there, it does seem to me that at some point, you both did want this relationship to move further and move forward to a deeper level of commitment, whatever that level of commitment is for the two of you, whether that's getting married, moving in together, buying a house together, starting a family together. No one is ever going to replace how I feel about you. Well, that's true. That's very true here with this Ace of Cups coming out. 
See, the feelings are here. They wanted to move this relationship forward. They're aware that there's a very strong connection. But this fear just caused them to retreat away from it. I can feel your energy everywhere. So if you are in separation or if you are broken up, they can still feel you. It's not like the connection goes away. The connection is still very much alive. They can't make it go away. They can't make it disappear. They can try and deny it. They can try and reject it. They can try and say, oh, you know, it's not really happening. It's all in their head or whatever. But that's not true because a connection goes both ways and you both feel it. I hope you can forgive me. Perhaps why this justice card is here as well because they will be asking for an apology, they will be asking for forgiveness for whatever it is they've done, especially for those of you who are in a period of separation or they're running or there's a lot of problems and difficulties going on between the two of you. I wish I would have treated you better. Yeah, I bet you do because there is love here. There's really love here. And they just need to let go of their fear and their control issues. This is really about them with that Emperor card as well. Them trying to control their feelings, trying to control their emotions, trying to deny that they exist because they are aware, especially with this Strength card and the Hierophant, that there are deep feelings, that there is deep emotion here. Let's see what else we get for stack one. I need to be strong in who I am before I can merge my energy with yours in 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself in this relationship. That's what that card says. That pretty much sums up everything that we've said in this entire reading so far. Let's see what else we get for stack one. I am walking home to you. I'm not sure where I am on the path, but I am walking on it. And that comes back to this rejuvenation with this judgment card and this opportunity for a fresh start new beginning with a deeper foundation of love to support your relationship with this Ace of Cups. Let's see what else for stack one. Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension and cannot be lost. See, so they are aware, like I said, with this strength card and with this justice card as well. There is a very deep connection. There's a very deep bond here. You can't... Well, they can't. Well, they can. They can try to deny it. They can try to run from it, but it's still there. There are subconscious fears affecting my ability to attract love and abundance. And this says the universe is helping us make them conscious so we can easily attract what we want, including each other. Do you feel like your person is doing some healing? I do feel like they are doing some work on themselves, perhaps not going out and saying, oh, I need to work on myself, but I do feel it's happening naturally through their guides, through spirit, through the universe, giving them a hand in working through their stuff that's preventing them from being able to move this relationship forward with you. What else for stack one? Silence is how I cope. Silence is how I cope. That's what they want to say to you. Silence is how I cope. You know, and I think it would have been nicer if they had said that to you rather than just disappearing or ghosting you or not saying anything, just vanishing poof into thin air and becoming a ghost, the invisible person. I don't understand these feelings I have. See, I do feel like these feelings are difficult for them. It's hard for them. This is something that's difficult for them. You make me want to do better. Good. You need to do better. Person, person that belongs to stack one, you need to do better. Do you feel low with this judgment card? And there's so much major arcana in this reading. I do feel that they will do better. They will do better. I will find my way back to you. I'll find my way back to you. Okay, stack one. I do feel your person is saying that yes, they have, if they're running, 
they're in separation, that if you've had a breakup, they are aware, they're truly aware of why they have done this and why they've taken the actions they have. But they also want you to know that they do have feelings for you. Their silence is how they cope. The feelings for you haven't gone away. They're still here. They are just so afraid. But I do feel like they're working on their issues. They're working on their dramas, their trauma, their chaos, whatever it is, so that they can find their way back to you. This is your reading for today, Stack 1. Thanks so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we would like to ask you to take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed your reading today. We appreciate all of you so much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. I'll see you over in reading two. Have a great day, guys. Welcome to your reading stack two. You selected the messenger of earth and the tiger's eye. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of the messages that come out today will resonate with everyone watching. So please just take in what speaks to your soul and release the rest to the universe. And if it doesn't resonate at all with you or your situation, we do encourage you to select a different step. In today's reading, we're focusing on what your person wishes they could tell you, but they haven't, or they can't, or they won't, and hopefully it will also reveal why they're doing that. But what we'll do is, in the first row, we'll look at the current situation between the two of you, hopefully pick up some of their feelings or thoughts concerning your connection, your relationship. And on the second row, we will look at what they want to say to you or what they wish they could say to you. They have to say for stack two. What is the current situation for stack two? Current feelings for stack two. We have the Seven of Wands and the King of Cups. Let's see what else we get here for stack two. And we have the Three of Cups. Stack two, current feelings, current thoughts, this connection, what's happening here. And we have the Three of Pentacles. And on the bottom, we have Strength. Okay. So the King of Cups is someone who does have emotional maturity. Okay? And we've talked about the Earth energies here. So this is Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. But the King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Strength is Leo, so Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in any of those signs, that could be a point of validation for you, Stack 2. The King of Cups is someone who does have feelings. They have a deep emotion. They feel a deep emotion for you. And, but they felt challenged by that. They felt that perhaps that challenge was internal, though, that they were facing some internal battle with that. Perhaps they weren't quite ready to express their feelings and their emotions, although they have them. Now, I do feel that if you are currently not with your person, there is this sense here of reunion, putting things back together, working together to make things work if you are currently in a place of separation. And also, if you're in a place of separation, I do feel your person is going to invite you to go on a social function, so like a date, okay? This is about coming together, celebrating, having a good time with one another. So I do feel like there could be a meeting, you could have dinner, you could have drink, coffee, whatever. Now, your person is also aware with this strength card, especially because there's that infinity symbol there, that there is a strong connection between the two of you. And while they do have emotional maturity 
and they do have these feelings for you, it still challenges them. So perhaps it's from past stuff, past relationship that they had before you, but with this King of Cups also being here, this does tell us a lot. This tells us that they are going to express their feelings. So let's see what your person wants to say, stack two. What does your person want to say to you? Stack two, what does their person want to say? Do we have the magician? And do we have the Queen of Cups? Well, that's really nice that that dropped right under that King of Cups. That's beautiful, actually. And do we have the Seven of Swords? Okay. What else for stack two? What do they want to say? Do we have the Two of Cups? And on the bottom, we have the star. But if you've been watching these readings for a bit, you know that I have to cover that. We have the star. Okay. So, there's something magical about you, stack two. Your person wants to tell you there's something magical about you. Okay? They do believe that you are very loving and kind and caring and compassionate. They see that in you. And with this King of Cups and Queen of Cups being here together, and this Two of Cups, and the Strength card, and the Star, I do feel that your person knows that there is a deep soul connection between the two of you. So they could want to say to you that they know that you are soulmates. Okay? This comes with a very strong sense of that here, especially because on that strength card we have the infinity symbol and we have it here on the magician as well. When we see the infinity symbol, that is a, that symbolizes that there's a past life connection and soulmates or twin flames, they come together in various lifetimes and have relationships to fulfill their karmic destiny with one another and to complete their life lessons with one another. And the star tells us very much that as well. The star is also a card of healing. So I do feel like your person may need to go through some healing, especially if they've been damaged in the past. And this, the way this reading lays out for us, it looks like that's going to happen. Now, this seven of swords, a lot of people could say, oh, they're sneaking away. But what I get from this is that your person is playing the long game, okay? And I say that because this messenger of earth is very much about someone who wants to do their best and never leave something half done. They're dedicated and determined knowing all of their efforts will pay off. They want to be sure. And they can be slow moving because they have to take their time to fully assess a situation, understand what's happening. So sometimes they're slow to take action. But when they do, that's because they are 5,000% sure, like this King of Cups tells us, that they want to move something forward, that they are ready to express their feelings, that they are ready to express their emotions. The Two of Cups is the union of hearts. Okay, Having the Two of Cups and the star come up side by side, that again tells us that this could be a soulmate connection, could be a twin flame connection. Regardless, we don't have to put a label on it. There is a very deep spiritual and emotional bond between the two of you that goes beyond the physical attraction. And there is physical attraction, of course, because strength is here, there's a lot of passion. This person's very passionate for you, Stack 2. But we, with these cups, and so many cups, this is also about emotion. There is a strong 
emotional connection here. Now let's see what else we get. What does that person wish they could say? What does Statue's person wish they could say? What do they want to say to you, Statue? What do they wish they could tell you? Memories of you are haunting me. So if you are in a disconnect or separation, I do feel like they are thinking about you quite a bit. You are definitely on their mind. I love you with all my heart and soul. I love you with all my heart and soul. And if they have not expressed this to you, with this King of Cups being here, and these other cards like Strength and the Two of Cups, and the Magician and the Star, I do feel that they will. I do feel that for most of you watching, they will. For a good majority, I get triggered at the thought of you. And that could be triggered in a good way, though. That could be true. That's triggered in a good way, in a positive way. Let's see what else for stack two. My love for you will never change. See, that's that enduring love that goes across time and space, that goes across so many lifetimes. Let's see what else for stack two. Two, what does stack two's person wish they could say to them if they haven't? You think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you say and even replay your conversations in my head. But they could let you know that they're listening, but then they're not. <laughs> That's what they want to tell you. I am listening. They're telling you that they are listening, especially if you're together currently. We need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect conditions for our reunion. That's very much about that star card, about the healing that I feel needs to happen if your person is dealing with past relationship trauma or drama. Maybe they were in a toxic or dysfunctional relationship in the past and they're not quite ready to fully embrace the depth of this deep soul love that's here between you. Let's see what else for stack two. What else for stack two? I'm trying to understand how my thoughts create my reality. I know I need to stay positive. Are you? So I do feel your person's asking you to stay positive, even if you're in the place of difficulty or disconnect with them, because things are going to get better. I do feel that most of these, I do feel that they are going to be able to work things out here. Don't judge this, just surrender. I know it's triggering, but from a higher perspective, it's clearing energy and bringing us closer together. See this seven of wands, that could be that perhaps your person has been triggered and they are aware that there's this deep connection here, but still it could be scaring them just a wee bit. It could be scaring them a little. And the last card that fell out was, I'm praying you'll come back after everything that's happened between us. I worry that you won't forgive me and allow another chance. Would you give them another chance, Stag 2, if they are currently not with you or if they have created a lot of problems and disconnect between the two of you? And that may not be something that you can even consider right now, but that's something that you'll have to answer later, especially if they've been gone, depending on how they reappear, depending on how they come back, when they come back. Let's see. I will find my way back to you. I have emotional baggage. See, we've talked about that up here. We do feel that for some of you guys that pick stack two, your person does have some emotional baggage, but I do feel they're going to work through it, it looks like. 
I can't look at you in the eyes. That's because there's a deep soul connection here and they can see to the depths of your soul when they look in your eyes and I feel that that is when they recognize that something really magical and mystical and marvelous is happening here and they need to come to the place where they recognize that they deserve this kind of love. They deserve this kind of connection that the two of you have. I have maturing to do. So you selected this messenger of earth card, which is like the Knight of Pentacles, which is someone who really makes sure that they are ready and that you're the right person and they really think about it a lot and they analyze and analyze and overanalyze. Um, and I have some maturing to do to become this King of Cups, the energy of the King of Cups, who is someone who is emotionally mature and ready to accept the effort and energy required to sustain and maintain an adult, deeply connected relationship. So I do feel like your person is working through their stuff. I don't feel they have to work very hard because it's like they're, they're almost ready. These cards tell us that your person is almost ready to take that leap of faith and take that plunge. All right, stack two, this is your reading for today. Thanks so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed your reading today. We appreciate all of you so, so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. I'll see you over in reading three. Have a great day, everyone. Welcome to your reading stack three. You selected the messenger of water card and the labradorite stone. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it or all the messages that come out today may resonate with you or your situation. So please just take in what does speak to your soul and release the rest to the universe. And if you find that it doesn't resonate at all, we do encourage you to select a different stack. So today we're looking at what your person wishes they could say to you, but they haven't, or they can't, or they won't, or they refuse to. What we'll do first though is look at a general overview of what's happening between you and your person in terms of their feelings and their thoughts concerning your connection, your situation, and then at the bottom we'll look at the actual messages. So let's get right into this stack three. For stack three, what is the current situation? Let's see what we have here. So we have the Queen of Cups. We have temperance. And we have the moon. So Queen of Cups, again, like the messenger of water, is Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is Pisces as well with the moon. Temperance is Sagittarius. Lots of energies here in this stack today. We also have the world, and on the bottom we have the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a really nice connection here between the two of you, stack three, but I feel that some things have been hidden. Some things are hidden, or they have been hidden with your person hiding them. Now, I don't necessarily feel it's someone else, although it could potentially be for some of you, but I feel that this is really more about them not really being ready to express themselves or express their feelings. Now, this does tell us with this temperance card here that they do have feelings, that there is a very strong connection. Temperance, well, it's about patience and moving things slow, ever so slow, but it's also about alchemy 
and alchemy is chemistry. And this is the alchemy that exists between the two of you, the blending of two wonderful souls, two wonderful substances into a spiritual connection, into a romantic relationship. Now, I also feel for some of you that you are in a period of separation or you have broken up or they've broken up with you and that's because we have this world card here which can be about endings but the world is also the planet Saturn so perhaps you or your person are going through some difficult Saturn transits that are causing some of this to happen between the two of you and Saturn transits are of well, they're really about extreme isolation and depression. That's what Saturn does, okay? So you may want to kind of like look at your chart, look at their chart, see what's going on there. Um, that might give you some deeper insight into what's going on with your person and this connection. Now, this Ace of Cups tells us that even if there has been an ending between the two of you, this Ace of Cups is about new love, the beginning of love the regeneration of love, the restart of love. It tells us that the love is still there and this Ace of Cups tells us that there is this strong potential for this fresh start, new beginning for the two of you because your person does have feelings for you. They do recognize that you're very intuitive. They do know that you're very compassionate, that you're very caring, that you're very loving and giving, and that you share this really deep, strong, intuitive connection. Whether it's telepathy or empathy, you finish, finish each other's sentences, you share each other's thoughts, you can think something and they can respond or vice versa. There's a very deep, empathic, an intuitive and psychic connection between you and your person. But not everything is as it currently appears. There's something more here going on. There's something more than meets the eye. And I feel like that is your person perhaps ending this connection or ending your relationship when they weren't really ready to, but it was because they felt if they have ended things with you, they felt at the time that that was something they had to do. So now what we'll do is we will look at what your person wants to say to you. And that will as well give us more information for these cards because it will clarify some of this stuff down beneath it with these additional cards here. So for stack three, what does their person want to say or wish they could say to them? The four of wands. Well, that's really nice because that tells us that they do want longevity between the two of you. The Six of Wands. Let's see what else for stack three, please. What does that person want to say to them? Do we have the Two of Wands? Well, that's all this fire energy coming down beneath here. There's a lot of passion here between the two of you, stack three. And we have the four of cups. And then on the bottom, we have the wheel of fortune. Okay, stack three. So things are going to shift and change. If you guys are currently not speaking, if you've been broken up, or if you are in separation, there is a change coming in the dynamic of what's happening between the two of you, okay? Now, this Four of Wands is very much about someone who wants to have a relationship. This is about, see, this is a couple, they're celebrating under this canopy of flowers, okay? And I feel that this is about them considering taking the relationship further. Are we going to move in together? Are we going to get engaged? What's the next steps? Are we going to become exclusive? Whatever it is for the two of you, your person is really having these thoughts. They just haven't shared them with you because they're hiding behind this veil of illusion that the moon presents. 
okay? Now, they do hold you in high regard. They think very highly of you. And this Two of Wands here tells us as well that they are going to take action in regard to the situation between the two of you. And, but it's still going to take a little bit of time because they have to come out of this place where they're confused and in this place of illusion. Okay? Now, I feel this Four of Cups is someone who is emotionally checked out. And we already discussed that with some of these cards up here, especially with this moon. But this is as well telling us that with the world, I do feel that this being emotionally checked out is something that's going to come to an end because the last card we have here is the wheel of fortune which is the wheel of fate and things are in constant motion the wheel of the universe is constantly shifting and turning and I do feel that there is a return to love if you guys are in this place of disconnect separation breakup blow up argument whatever it is, I feel that there is a turnaround to the situation for the two of you where your person is going to take action. This Six of Wands as well is a card of admiration. They do think very highly of you. And it is about success. It's about victory. It's about overcoming whatever this is and taking action with this Two of Wands, when they finally make the decision to take action. Now, this Messenger of Water card, this is about attraction, and it's about romantic attraction and admiration, and someone who wants to present as a romantic partner, but they're not fully mature in their emotions. So perhaps your person is having to go through a period of transition and change to where they are ready to take on more mature emotions for you. But this Wheel of Fortune does tell us that things are changing. Everything is not as it appears, okay? There is an illusion around the situation especially if you are broken up, or if you're in a place of no contact, if they're ghosting, if they're running, there is change that is coming. Let's see what else we get for you here. Stack three. What does your person wish they could say to you for stack three? Huh, I'm running because I don't want to hurt you even more. And perhaps they have really hurt you. And this moon card could be you as well, feeling very melancholy and, and blue and, and depressed because the situation between the two of you has ended. I want to protect you from myself. So perhaps, again, they are running because they don't want to hurt you more because they haven't grown up yet and they need to grow up. But they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. Let's see what else for you, step three. What else for step three? And here we go. Of course, we have to drop them on the floor. You are so beautiful to me. Perhaps they have told you that you're beautiful, but they'd like you to know again. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. Perhaps that's true, perhaps it's not. The point is they need to grow up and they need to evolve and they need to let down whatever this illusion is that, that's not real. It's like they need to grow up to be able to put forth what's required of them to sustain this kind of connection and this kind of relationship with you, stack three. But see, this does say that they want to have this relationship, and they want this relationship to go long term. That's what this tells us. And then the two of wands tells us that they are going to take action 
and to make a choice about what they're going to do. They just haven't gotten to that point yet, but I do feel they will. Now this Four of Cups, it can be someone, this Four of Cups that was right here, it can be someone who's emotionally checked out from a relationship, someone who has run, someone who's fleeing because of their emotions, but it can also be someone who is going through a period of reflection. It's more like a time out, not a breakup, a break, a time out where they are able to see the forest for the trees and really have a deeper understanding of what's going on here between the two of you. Now they say this, the universe brought us together for a reason. I am discovering what those reasons are. I, Morgana, Morgana, Morgana. That's my cat, I'm sorry, she has dementia and she gets lost from time to time. Morgana. I just gave her some treats and now she's happy I petted her and gave her some treats. So let's see what else we get for stack three. What does their person want to say to them? What does stack three's person want to say? I'm not going to give in to fear. I know fear is only an illusion. See, that tells us they are maturing. They are growing up because this fear is what's preventing them from being able to move forward with you in this connection. This also fell out. Our mission is to be unconditional love. Clearing our programming is a necessary part of opening our hearts. So perhaps there was some past stuff that they went through in a relationship before they met you that's caused them to have some faulty programming there. See what else we get. I am accessing past life wisdom. It's helping me understand things with a new perspective. Sometimes I feel like you're speaking to me in my head, okay? And at times it triggers me because I wonder how much you can see into me. That comes back to that intuition that we talked about with this Queen of Cups and this empathy and this empathic connection that exists here, okay? They know that you know them better than they know themselves, and they know that you know them better than anyone's ever known them. And I feel like that can be a little bit scary for them, okay? It amazes me when we say the same thing at the same time or finish each other's sentences. This comes back to there is this deep connection. There is a strong connection here between the two of you. And I feel that is part of what they're afraid of. But I do feel that they're going to get past this. I don't feel that this is about them permanently ending a connection for the most part with most of you here that are picked this stack today. So what else for stack three? What does their person want to say to them? We were two peas in a pod, very much alike. Let's see, and you still are two peas in a pod. I wish I was more like you. Because them seeing you as this queen of cups they see you as someone who's very loving, very caring, very nurturing, very open emotionally, and really not afraid to express their emotions and be vulnerable. Because that really is what this kind of connection and this kind of spiritual bond is truly about. I'm broken, okay? Well, you can repair this brokenness person that belongs to stack three, you can repair it. You can repair it. I'm drowning in my emotions. See, so they do have feelings. This is someone who has feelings. They just don't know how to fully express them. But I do feel with some of the cards that we have here, with this four of wands and this six of wands and this two of wands, this is about someone who is evolving, they are growing, they are changing, they are transitioning, and with this temperance card, it's about them becoming, 
becoming who they need to be. It's about alchemy. Alchemy is transformation. Well, alchemy was about turning metal into gold. But in spiritual transformation, it's about the ascension process. So I do feel like your person is trying to change and they are trying to, to evolve. I do feel they do have some darkness and some murkiness they have to work through. But this Ace of Cups tells us that they do want to have this fresh start, new beginning. If you are a part, they do want to try again and they do want to try with a deeper connection where their foundation is more solidly based on love. This Four of Wands tells us that your story is not complete. It's not over. It's not done. There's more to come. This is your reading for today's Stack 3. Thanks so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so, so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. I'll see you over in reading four. Have a great day, everyone. Welcome to your reading stack four. You chose the Messenger of Fire card and the Carnelian. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone who's watching today, especially when we get to some of the messages here. So please just take in what speaks to your soul and release the rest to the universe. And if you find that this stack doesn't resonate with you at all or your situation, we do encourage you to select a different one. In today's reading, we're looking into what your person wishes they could say to you, but they can't, or they haven't, or they won't, or they refuse to. We'll also come up with the reasons why that is, I feel, for some of you. But what we'll do is we'll look at their current feelings and what's going on in the relationship between you on the top row, and on the bottom, we'll look at what they would like to say to you or what they wish they could say. So for stack four, what does stack four do? Where are current feelings? Current feelings, current dynamic, stack four, stack four person. We have the two of pentacles. And the ace of cups. The Eight of Swords. Let's see what else we get. The Ace of Pentacles. And on the bottom we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel that there's change coming to your situation in Stack 4. It seems that your person has a mental block when it comes to being able to express their thoughts, express their feelings, express their emotions, and so they haven't. Or if they have, I don't feel that they have been truly sincere or the true depth of their emotions. I feel that this is more about blockages that exist in their head than anything that really exists within them or their heart. This is the card of interference. This Eight of Swords is a card of interference, but it's all mental because swords are mental, their thoughts, their communication, their ideas. And so this is really talking about some sort of like mental block here, okay? Uh, perhaps they were hurt in the past. Perhaps you guys are in separation. We'll get more information as we go through the reading, okay? But if you are, separated from your person right now, there's change coming. There's a fresh start, new beginning. There's a new chapter that's going to happen. There is this sense of being able to start afresh, being able to start anew, starting a new chapter, moving to a new chapter, moving to the next level of the video game. However, 
you like to express it. But when that new chapter starts, it comes with a new beginning, a fresh start, a stronger foundation, a stronger foundation of love. So perhaps if your relationship in the past was built on something other than love and respect, perhaps it was built on, you know, infatuation or because there's a strong sexual chemistry or there's a lot of passion between the two of you, that can be definitely the case with this messenger of fire being here, okay? That's about a lot of passion and energy, okay? But there's shifting. It's shifting and it's changing. And it's coming to a place of love where your person is going to present themselves to you as a romantic partner, okay? Now, so we will look next at what stack four person, what the stack four persons want to say, what do they wish they could say to them for stack four. What does that person wish they could say? Let's see here for stack four. What do they wish they could say? They have been hurt in the past. They have been hurt in the past. They've been betrayed. They've been stabbed in the back. They've been betrayed. Okay? Now, I'm not necessarily getting that this is that you guys are in separation or that you are estranged from one another. But I do feel it could be for some of you, but I don't get the feeling that it's absolutely everybody that chose this stack. Let's see what else we get for stack four. What does stack four person want to say? The Ace of Cups. Well, that's lovely. That's just wonderful, actually. I love that, how that just flew out and landed right there. What else for stack four? What does their person want to say? Do we have the Three of Cups? We drop one on the floor. That was the Two of Cups. And then on the bottom, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so I do feel like your person has been hurt in the past. Someone has betrayed them. Someone has stabbed them in the back. Some has, someone has treated them horribly. Perhaps they were in a toxic relationship, a dysfunctional relationship, and they really need to let that baggage go because it's not doing them any good, and it's not doing your connection or your relationship any good either, okay? So we do have this fire energy here, which is... Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. We have water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So sun, moon, rising, or Venus in any of those signs, that could be a point of validation for you. This is beautiful. We have the Ace of Cups, the beginning of love, the restart of love, celebrating with one another, going out on a date, doing something fun, doing something social, perhaps having an adventure. And then we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, and, and this is basically saying that they would like to consider a long-term relationship with you. They think about it. They daydream about it. They've thought about it. They think about it still. And they have to overcome this sense of feeling like they could be betrayed or feeling like you may not think they're good enough or you may uncover some sort of inadequacy that they perceive within themselves that they've been hiding from you that you may not see or know or realize but then you do and then this whole thing will blow up and then they'll be hurt and betrayed and stabbed in the back again your person's brain is a world with lots of thoughts and it's all mental none of it's real these are just obsessive and do you feel these are obsessive thoughts that they have a tendency to have and that's because of past experiences. They have feelings of love for you. And if they haven't shared that with you, this Knight of Cups tells us they will. This is someone who presents as a romantic partner. It's also someone who is thinking about love and someone who communicates feelings of love. Okay, this Four of Wands, it's about planning a future together, whether that's moving in together, 
getting married, getting engaged, starting a family. That is the meaning of this card. So I do feel that this, these are the things they want to say to you. They just haven't done it. They can't. They feel that if they put that out there, it could ruin everything because they are afraid. And that's because of past trauma, past stuff from toxic or dysfunctional relationships that they've been in in the past. Perhaps they've really been hurt by someone and they haven't healed and they haven't let it go. You're the only one that truly understands me. They'd like to tell you that. And you... I do feel that they're serious about that as well. You are the only one that truly understands them because you do have a very deep bond. You do have a very deep connection. There is a strong intuitive connection between the two of you as well. I still have more. I still have hope. We can work this out. Here's this new beginning. Here's this fresh start. Here's this new beginning, this fresh start, starting with a stronger foundation of love. I do feel your person wants this to work out. They're trying to get over themselves right now. I can't stop thinking about you. What else for stack four? What else for stack four? I know our souls are intertwined, very much so with this two of cups. It's very much about soul connection, the soul connection relationships. And that's a connection that's beyond just the physical attraction component. It's spiritual. It's intellectual. It's emotional. Let's see what else for stack. What else for stack four? I'm not ready to step out of my comfort zone. See, I do feel that for some of you, they, they are afraid and that comes back to that mental block that eight of swords that interference that we were talking about before we need to take it slow so I do feel that they need to move things a bit slower however it's interesting because once they figure all of this out this messenger of fire card is the Knight of Swords. This is someone who is determined, who loves adventure. They're headstrong and independent, and they are action-oriented. They will take action. When they stop thinking about taking action, they actually will take action. And though they say to you right now they need to take it slow, that's not how it will stay. Things will move things will start to move quicker and faster between the two of you. And if you're in a relationship with someone or dating someone right now and things have been moving slow for you, if you pick this stack, this messenger of fire card is about things starting to move quicker and starting to escalate further. I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you for good. See, they are afraid of betrayal. They're afraid of being stabbed in the back. They're afraid that they're not good enough for you, which is ridiculous. And you don't think that. I am sure of that. But this is something that exists in their mind. It exists in their psyche, right? The next solstice or equinox will bring an important shift for us. So the solstices and equinoxes are on the 21st, December 21st, March 21st. June 21st and September 21st. Let's see what else we get for stack four. What else for stack four? Please send me energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. And there's so much love here. And I feel your person is asking for support. I feel they know what they want. They're just so afraid to try and put it into motion. What if you don't like them? What if you don't want to do this with them? What if you turn them away? What if you reject them? I feel like for some of you, they are really afraid of this. And they're not going to share this with you or reveal this to you because they're afraid that this would make them look weak. I feel the chemistry between us. We need to trust that energy we share and let it bring us back together again. So if you are apart, I do feel your person does want 
to bring this back together. Our mission is to be unconditional love. We have so much love here in this reading for the two of you. Stack four. Okay, I have one more set of cards I'd like to use for you. Stack four. Let's get those really quickly here. What else does stack four's person, what do they wish they could say to them? There is no greater love than yours. There's no greater love than yours. They know you love them. They know you have deep feelings for them. They are aware of this. It's so evident to them. I mean, we have, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups. There is so much love here. There's so much love here between, between the two of you. You make me want to do better. Okay, okay, stack force person then please, please do it. They're ready for you to do better, stack force person. They're so ready for you to do better. Let's see what else we get. This separation will soon be over. If you are separated, not all of you that chose this stack are separated, but if you are separated, there is a fresh start, new beginning coming here for the two of you, and the separation will still, will still be, I have emotional baggage, see? I have emotional baggage. I have a lot of emotional baggage. I do feel your person does have some emotional bag baggage. And you know, a lot of people have emotional baggage, but it's about leaving it at the door and not bringing it, not bringing it into your relationship with your person, right? Check the baggage at the door, leave it on the plane, whatever it is, leave it at the airport in the baggage plane. Just leave it there and allow the relationship with the person that you're in not have that emotional baggage in because that requires healing. And I do feel your person is aware of that. Stack four, and I do feel they want to do something about that. This is your reading for today, stack four. Thank you so much for allowing us to share your journey today. And if you'd like to look into your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we would like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone.